What's up, y'all? It's y'all boy Jod, and I'm back with a new reaction coming from Shonen Showdown himself. Now, the last reaction I did was from it was from his last video. I I believe it was the Shinobis versus no, it was the Alliance or some shit like that versus uh the Supernovas from One Piece. So now with this new video. Uh, it's titled Naruto Solos or Anime Verse. Now, <laughs> if you ask me, I don't even think Naruto can go past Haikyuu. I'm just, I'm just saying, I don't even know if he can go past My Hero Academia. But <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll see what he's chatting about. So I know we normally cover anime gauntlets, we normally do anime team battles, but it's time for a change. Everybody is always commenting how this anime character can solo your favorite anime verse. Well, now we're getting ready to see it. We need to look I'll, at how I'll love to see that. Be soloing versus. This is the first I better time not see Naruto, bro. I better, better not. Hold on. Oh, oh, he, he put nah, G. This is a sweep. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Why, why, why do you have sorry, all right, let me see what he had to say, let me see what he had to say, I, I already know this is a sweet, all right, all right, like, I'm not gonna lowball Naruto, you feel me, because, you know, I, growing up as a kid, I used to fuck with Naruto, even though I, I'm, I just be playing, you know, talking shit about Naruto, you know, I, I you know, I gotta cut him some slack, <sighs> All right, let's see what you got to say. Espada Senpai on TikTok. Make sure you show Espada Senpai some love, but... Espada? Oh, wait, wait, let me let me see what you got to say. Hold on. I'm, I'm going all love, over the place. But cry before Naruto solos, solos your verse. Your this is crazy, crazy all around. In the first oh, place, okay. <laughs> okay, so... The characters that are crying are the ones that... Okay, I, I see. I see. I see your point. All right, yeah. It, it, it would be a sweep. All right, but Gon is see. here breaking down in tears. Should Gon be crying? Does the Hunter Hunter verse get soloed by Naruto? Now I have a couple of questions. Mm. Before you go on, we do have to. I I think like the only dude Naruto will probably have a problem with is Miriam. Let Let's be one hundred percent honest here. Everybody else, not really. Everybody else like pre like. Like before Naruto time skip level, I, I'll, I'll put them pre Naru like pre time skip level. They're not really, they're not man. After Shippuden, like I would say, like the first half of Shippuden until the Pain Arc is what I would put like you know the Hunter X Hunter characters and powers, but. Uh, let, let me see what he got to say. I ask you guys if an anime character solos a verse. What do you think of? Because when I think of an anime character actually soloing verses, I'm thinking about the most disrespectful way they can get the job done. I'm thinking about Madara versus the Shinobi Alliance. You versus everybody. That's exactly what I think of. But I you, know see how, you see how Madara just did, just did the alliance like that? That's how my nigga Big Monkey Big Dick Luffy would do all y'all, all y'all Naruto, all, all the Naruto characters, all in one. Get fucking Sasuke, uh, 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 that bitch ass, I forgot his name, uh, 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 uh Naruto, um, Kakashi, so uh, all of them, all of them, just lined up, just lined up. That's how, that's how, that's how you doing all y'all. That's how you, how, that's how Luffy doing all y'all niggas. Let's, Let's continue. You versus everybody. That's exactly what I think of. But I know there are some people out there that think of it more of in a gauntlet type of style where you're just doing a giant gauntlet, 1v1ing everybody. I don't see it that way. I see it as a moderate versus Shinobi Alliance type of way. But if you see it in the gauntlet way, there is a difference in the outcome. Now, when it comes to the Hunter Hunter verse, Naruto versus everybody all at once, there's only one character that I can think of that can maybe cause some issues with Naruto, and that is not Marie. it. Killua's sibling. Oh, yo, tell me how, bro, tell me how I forgot about her. Nah, 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 he's spitting, he's spitting, hold on. Aluka, aka Nanika, I forgot AKA about Aluka. Something is a beast all around. We know yeah. how powerful Nanika is. We know that the wishes that are granted by Nanika can only be carried out under a certain set of rules. And if you're not following the rules, if you break the rules, if Nanika is having a bad day, you're getting squashed, you're getting Oh, no, nah, she was a demon. Naruto, in the Yo, I forgot. Nah, Naruto probably gonna get clapped because her is as he just said it. Any any wish or if you if you disobey her like her commandment or some shit like that, 
Like, you get it fucked up. And, like, can, can we really say, like, sit here and say, like, Naruto is gonna go and try and kill or hurt a little girl, little ass girl, you feel me? So, like, her appearance will take him off guard. And then when she get her, and when she get him, like, when she get him, like, possessed, like, a fucking, like, her, like, her demon or whatever the fuck her, I forgot what her other half is called, something. Yeah, when something comes along, you're gonna be like, yo, what the fuck? And then you got, she got, yeah, bro. So. I don't know. He's spitting, bro. It's between Miriam and Aluka. I forgot uh, all about Aluka, but she was, she's fucking me. All right, let's the presence go. of Nanika has to be smart, smart enough to know to that know he that cannot that really speak, speak with Nanika. You can't talk. You can't have a conversation. Nothing with Nanika. Right. <laughs> oh, God. I, I'm in the perfect spot. <laughs> but nah, bro. Naruto would have to be a fucking demon. You, you see this? This is how, Nar this is how Naruto would look after, Nar after Luffy did his ass, bro. This is exactly how Naruto, you got the hair and everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can't tell me that's not Naruto after Luffy beat it, after Luffy got his ass. But anyway. Nanika, you start talking to Nanika, you might get yeah. caught in the loop, you might get caught in the trap. So yeah. Naruto figures this out, he'll be A-OK. -okay. If not, that might be a problem. I know you guys might be saying, well, Naruto's going to be using some shadow clones to be fighting everybody. Well, this is actually an issue because we know Nanika can kill hundreds or maybe even thousands all at once. Nanika is just... It just Mm, well, to be fair, I don't know if we, I, I haven't read the manga of Hunter x Hunter yet, like the rest of the manga, but like, I don't, we, we haven't really seen her like bang like that. I know there was a time where she was like, she could lift up like a, a whole ass grown adult. There was that one time, but I don't know, probably. I mean, she can, she can grant any wish, bro. She like, she like genie out here, my G. So shit, she probably can. It's killing everybody that you know you love, even if it's yourself. If Naruto loves himself, that means the Shadow Clone plus himself are getting taken out by Nanika. But again, it also depends on if the previous wish that was asked of Nanika was something grandiose. There's so many different X factors. So I'm actually okay with going crying in this picture right now, but Nanika yeah, gone can cry. Gone not at that level yet. The one punch members oh it's a sweet it's, it's a sweet it's a sweet i don't even gotta bro i'll even say say tama one shots luffy i'll say that i'm man enough to say that i'm i'm i'm, I'm man enough i'm 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 in, i'm engaged with my my masculinity enough to say that bro i'm comfortable enough with my my masculinity to say that saitama is well probably solo all of one piece bro. I, I ain't gonna lie like no, no, but, but, but let's see what he's got. Chilling, drinking, drinking a cup of coffee. coffee. He's not he's worried not at all. And I'm not sure about this one. Now, should, should Saitama, Saitama be crying? 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 Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. But, but when we look at the One Punch Man verse, as, as you guys already know, know, I'm reading the manga, by the way. I'm catching up. The Saitama fans in the comments are going Nah, crazy. dude. If you, were, hey, if you were reading the manga, you wouldn't be saying that, G. If you was reading the manga, you wouldn't be saying that. Saitama vs. Goku. Are you ready? I want to make sure that when I actually speak about Saitama vs. Goku, I'm ready for it. Now, Saitama. I should see him tearing up just a little bit. Not crying full on crying like the nah, but just dude. tear up just a little bit. And here's why. As I'm reading the One Punch Man manga and I'm seeing the greatest that the One Punch Man verse has to offer is looking pretty grim. I mean, One Punch Man is very top heavy. Wouldn't Naruto have to worry about Garo? Absolutely. Would he have to worry about Saitama? Absolutely. Oh, uh, nah, it's not even a question. And Tatsumaki? Of course. I mean, if you bring up Blast, maybe you can have a conversation. I ain't gonna lie. I don't even think like not not on no trolling shit, not on no joking shit. I, I don't I don't really see Naruto getting past Boros. Like Boros is kind of crazy. He would have to have like he would have off the rip like get his strongest move out and like hit his little crest or something to beat him. That was I forgot. It's been a while since I I, I watched season one of uh, One Punch Man, but like he had a little crest, a little round marble looking shit in his chest somewhere somewhere in his body i don't know and like um as soon as you break it yeah he, he can't restore he can't like um yeah he can't re restore himself anymore so I, I don't know but i still don't think he can pass boros i feel like boros is too crazy i feel like one or two, three hits from the man, he done, bro. Uh, let, let, let's see what he does. But outside of them, Bang is not really hanging with Naruto. Metal Gear is not that. really hanging with Naruto. Yeah. Atomic Samurai is not. Bro, I'm going to say this right now before he continues. I will say the fight, like, he, like, Naruto is beating everybody in One Punch Man, except 
fucking Saitama, of course. He's not even, he, bro, let's be, he's not even putting a dent in Saitama. Let's be honest. Let's keep it trio. Yeah, y'all, y'all, if, if, if I'm comfortable with my masculinity, y'all need to be comfortable with y'all masculinity, bro. You're not getting past Saitama. Most definitely not getting past Garo. I, I don't see him beating Garo. Garo's too crazy. He's too adaptable to his situations. He can just adapt to Naruto's fighting style way easier than adapting to Saitama. So that's one. Uh, he's not getting past fucking Boros. Like I said, I doubt he's getting past Blast. We, we still didn't see much about Blast, but he's pretty crazy. Um, Maybe Tatsumaki, but with her little telepathy, I don't know. I would that now that would be an interesting fight. That but the, those five I just stated, he not, he not getting past. In my humble masculine opinion, but let let's let's keep not it really going. Hanging with Naruto, sweet mask. I mean, these are S class heroes. Oh no, sweet mask, probably. Uh, like probably. I, oh, I forgot. Hmm. Zombie man, I don't think he's gonna really beat Zombie man, cause Zombie man is basically like Deadpool, like he can just restore himself and like it'll get, and like just like one good shot in Naruto's skull, he finished. I mean, like, bro, we seen this nigga Naruto, you know, deflect, you know, like fucking shurikens and all, all that, you know, the, all that ninja shit. You feel me? But has he ever been hit by a Glock? Like he have you have you ever been sniped before? Like come come, come on y'all, we got we gotta put this to consideration, bro. In the One Punch Man verse, and a lot of them are not even hanging with Naruto. They have no shot. So I agree with that. But he is not beating the five. I'm not really sure, but I'm cool with Saitama not full on crying. We're moving on to the Black Clover verse in Asta. Asta is chilling. Asta has a seat. Uh, I'm not really going to give my opinion on this one because I have not watched or read enough Black Clover. I enjoy it. It's all, it's all right show. I mean, they kind of copy Berserk, One Piece, Naruto, you know, all that. But it's, it's, it's all right. Serious face. Is this the correct? We, we need some for a little jits, you you know, to wash, you know. Oh my god, he got some big, he got some big swore in you, you know, all that shit. Hey, personally, hey, I personally, I think it is. is. When you look at the when Black Clover verse and you look at the Naruto, Naruto verse, I think they are very relative in power. Asta versus Naruto is actually a very big conversation. But if you're gonna go outside of Asta, if you're gonna start talking about Dante and Xenon, and you're gonna start talking about all of these characters that have arcane level magic, Naruto may have a little bit of an issue here or there depending on who he's going up against because again hey I man that like i said i am a wash black clover but hey anybody who can beat naruto <laughs> is an ally of mine i'm just saying but anyway he's let's continue on arcane mage that has access to anti-magic i definitely need to watch more problem, black clover. depending on how you are factoring in magic versus chakra we're moving on to meliodas, meliodas the seven deadly sins universe oh no nah. oh no nah, this is a sweep this is such a sweep. It's not even funny. If I'm being, if I'm gonna, if I'm not gonna lie, bro, like, this is such an easy sweep, bro. Like, this is such an easy sweep. They had, they put the weakest niggas crying, uh, with all these OPS, like, come on, G. Like, I don't even like Natsu. Like, that series is trash. But I can, I, 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 I had to admit, like, they got crazy during the end. So, I don't, I, I still don't think Natsu being in Luffy, but it is what it is. Just chilling, having a drink, not worried at all. I think that the seven deadly sins burst, for the most part, is not getting soloed by Natsu. I'm not even gonna put my two cents in this. Naruto doesn't even have his demon, his, his little demon thing, his little fox, his little furry anymore. He... He, he, he said he don't want to be a furry no more, bro. Like, he, he gave Karama away. That nigga is done. So, it's like, bro. Yotis in his current full-powered form is stronger than Naruto. That's me. I know there are Naruto fans out there that may have some problems with that. But my thing is, is I have never seen Naruto ever contend with a force on the level of chaos. I mean, the power of chaos is the strongest force that we're seeing between both verses. That last season of Seven Deadly Sins was trash, but hey, facts is facts. Go read the manga. It's way better. <laughs> in his arsenal that he could use if we're taking Demon King Meliodas in his prime. Oh, yeah, 
a sweep. He's, he's not doing anything to Melly, bro. As well, but is he going to be taking down Meliodas in his prime? Hell no. Nah. All his commandments. He can full counter, revenge counter, depending on how we're equalizing magic versus chakra. If you're going outside of Meliodas, I'll pay uh, magic. That's when it starts getting a little bit tricky. Maybe Arthur can contend against bro, him because he has access. To I ain't got a lot. I can't wait for this man to get to Luffy, bro. I really want to see what he said, bro. Luffy. I'm not even gonna say it. I'm gonna wait till he gets to Luffy. I might just end the video right there. Everybody else kind of trash, but I might end the video right when he gets to Luffy. I think Merlin may be able to give Naruto some trouble. Escanor, depending on what time of day it is with him. All you really need, honestly, is Escanor. I don't, I don't see Naruto getting past Escanor. Seven Deadly Sins universe is not getting soloed by Naruto. Naruto can beat people in the Seven Deadly Sins universe, but not everybody. Just a little scrubs. Maybe, maybe he'll beat fucking all. What shorty's name? I forgot her name. I forgot her name. I forgot her name. The the one girl who 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 obsesses over Bond. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, you gotta beat her or, or some or, or maybe the fucking pig or some shit. But he, he not getting past anybody else. Clearly, Gojo is looking happy. He's having a good time. That's the correct version of Gojo we should be seeing. Oh, yeah, my nigga Gojo. Yeah, so sweet. Jujutsu Kai isn't too crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It's like Yu Yu Hakusho on fucking on, on drugs, on acid, bro. I don't, I don't see it. Or, oh, fuck. We're gonna skip. Okay, so much in his own verse that Demon Slayer would never be able to condemn. And look at. Oh, whoa, whoa, I skipped. I skipped. I skipped that naruto should be worried about at all i don't care if it's muzan i don't care who you can get hold on hold on hold on hold on it is with him power i think in the seven days um, universe but not up. everybody we have gojo from the jujutsu kaisen universe clearly gojo is looking happy he's having a good time that's the correct version of gojo we should be seeing because we know that gojo's domain expansion alone would be a problem for naruto if we move outside of gojo and we start to look towards the rest of the characters in jj I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I only watched the Jujutsu Kaisen anime. I haven't wa I haven't read the. I haven't picked up the manga. Manga, but I was. I was thinking of. I was thinking of picking up the manga. So like, what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna give my two cents on this one. But like, I. I. I from what I've seen. All this shit I've seen, I feel like Jujutsu, I feel like you just go with Joe alone, probably. You know, Mahato will probably have a better chance of all the rest of the characters, but I feel like just go with Joe. I don't know, but that's just, that's just me, and maybe some of the villains. Naruto may be able to pack up a lot of people. I think that maybe Itadori plus Sakuna, if Sakuna pops out, might be an issue for Naruto. That don't, don't mean no sense. Oh, yeah. I, I agree with this. I don't know anybody in the My Hero Verse that can contend with Naruto right now. I think even if you're taking Class 1A, Class 1B, Class 1C, all the pro heroes, I mean, everybody just throwing them all at Naruto. Naruto can summon a few Shadow Clones here or there. Now, there are maybe some quirks that may catch Naruto off guard, like All For One's quirks, absolutely. Him being able to yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put my two cents in this. Uh, I'm, I'm the hunter. Uh, oh, I, forgot, I almost said hunter. I thought you. Uh, the my hero niggas are trash. All right, end of story. All right, take all right. other people's quirks. He, he may not even get him past fucking uh fucking um 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 sarada <laughs> i i don't know like that them niggas are just trash but well, moving on is, skill. is he really going to be worried about all for one at the end of the day no and you clearly can see tanjiro here. look at tanjiro tanjiro is crying his eyes yeah it's pretty self explanatory i'm just going to wait till he goes to luffy the demon slayer uh, we're not seeing luffy let's go by naruto low difficulty nobody in demon slayer is pulling off feats that naruto should be worried about at all i don't care if it's muzan i don't care who you can get i don't care what version of Tanjiro it is? Manga, Fox, anime, he's embodied as well. Naruto has just so much in you his get own that. that Demon Slayer would never be able to condemn. And look at Natsu. Natsu is confident. He's chilling. I agree. Now, when it comes to the fairy tale versus obviously a couple of questions that we have because. Uh, excuse me. Hold on. Like, uh, all right. I, I I can't put my two cents, but let me see what you have to say because it's been a while since I watched Fairy Tale. Bro, crazy thing is, fairy tale was my shit back in like middle school, bro. I used to, I I put that over One Piece. I ain't gonna lie, cause back then I didn't watch, I didn't watch One Piece like that. It was until like really high school when I started watching One Piece. I said, bro, this shit, 
this I like I like the what what is this coffee, bro? What is this what is this this good sensation I'm feeling right now in, in my in my in my stomach, bro? Like this shit is gas, bro. This shit is fire. This shit felt this tasting like a food I never tasted before, bro. That's what I felt when I when I first watched One Piece. This shit this shit was like I used to be a Naruto stand too, bro. All of that shit. Oh, I, once I watched One Piece, I like, fuck all of that shit. I love all that shit, but it's like, I, I swear, but like, let me see what you gotta you say. Some mages that are around Natsu's level, you can make that nigga look trash, Natsu's but <laughs> let's but again, I think it comes down to the same way as we look at the Seven Deadly Sins. Bro, honestly, bro, I was like, as soon as I started watching One Piece. I always thought fairy tale was just great value one piece. That's all I thought one piece, like fairy tale was great value dollar store family dollar quality of one piece, bro. Like that, but like, I, I think I need to watch it a little bit more. And the same way we look at the Black Clover universe. How are we factoring in Chakra and Magic? Because if we're equalizing Chakra and Magic, he's going to have a problem against Natsu. He was able to burn time magic. He was able to keep up with Fairy Heart Zerg. Oh, that's, that's that sounds hard. I'm not going to lie. That sounds hard. Characters in the Fairy Tale verse that Natsu had to go up against. Maybe even an Agnologia. So Naruto can beat the Fairy Tale universe. But he's not solo. And obviously, you know, we have to save the best for last. I know the Naruto fans are not going to like this one, but Ken... Oh, oh, oh. He already said... Because uh, all respect to my dude right here, but he kind of a uh, Naruto stand. I see, I see, I feel him, you know, you know, that's his series, got rocked by his series. I ain't like what, that, that first sentence, what he said, you know, One Piece fans not going to like this. I'm, I'm going to see what he got to say. I'm gonna see what you gotta say. Hold on. Solo the One Piece Hold on. I should I should have made this the whole video. Cause everybody that's not Hunter, Hunter or H or My Hero or whatever the fuck, them them niggas are folding. But like, uh, with One Piece, it's still like it's still like a like a fight between there. It's still like a. You know, it's still like a debate. So I'm gonna see what you guys say. First, you already know you already where know I stand. Where I the stand. answer is no. You, you see Luffy, Luffy smiling, smiling here with the purple. Yes, white sir. Oh, oh, oh. He said, hold on. He said what? First, you already know where I stand. The answer is no. You see Luffy smiling here All right. with the pearly white. All right, smart man. And I actually agree with this. Now, earlier in the video, I asked you guys how you think about soloing versus. Do you think about it in a gauntlet style or do you think about it in a Madara versus Shinobi alliance? Depending on the way we're viewing Either way, that nigga getting sweet. Either way, that nigga getting sweet. Bro, I don't even... All right, all right. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to troll no more. All right, I got I to gotta play it fair. All right, let's see what you gotta got to say. That Naruto can actually have a higher chance of soloing the One Piece universe if it is in the gauntlet style. If everyone is fighting him one v one. Now, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that, uh, bro. I feel like even Usopp. Yeah, <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna troll type shit, but nah, I'm dead ass. I'm dead ass. I don't. Uh, I'm not saying Usopp would damage Naruto or in any shape, way, or form, but. I'm saying I'm. I feel like even Usopp will like tire him out a bit. Like, 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 like the nigga will like just kind of stress him out a bit. Like, oh fuck, fuck, this nigga annoying. Like he gonna like keep on using the whole his little tricks uh, to try and fool Naruto and shit. And Naruto are naive. He kind of a dumb nigga a little bit sometimes. So you know you gonna you gonna you gonna smoosh into that. You feel me? And then we gotta think of, we gotta think of, uh, I'm just putting the straw hats first. I'm not, you know what? I'm gonna pretend that Luffy is separated from his crew and just put the straw hats. Bro, Sanji, we got Sanji, Zoro, uh, fucking Jimbe. Bro, like, there's enough niggas uh, on that crew, on that trio alone to tire this nigga ass out. You think he's gonna fight Kizaru? Fucking Kaido, Big Ma Naji, Naji. And those are, like, there's just so many One Piece characters that, like, even in a gauntlet form, the nigga's probably getting clapped by law. Let, let, let's be honest. Let, let's be, let's be honest, bro. That, like, sugar, bro, all sugar need to do is touch the man, and he's a doll. That's it. Game over, bro. All else nigga need, like, bro, it, I, I, I don't see it. Let's take a look. Because somebody actually tweeted. I, 
this whole time i didn't even bring up luffy that that's a whole different story at me earlier in the week a naruto versus one piece gauntlet but you already know the naruto fanboys came after me so i have to hold it down i have to bring this up as you guys can see here we have a six pass version of naruto and we have a ton of one thanks big mom kaido Fucking white bit. Oh, nah, G. Get up, get up, get up, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. I would, I would say maybe if it was the two of these niggas, we don't even know what Mihawk can do yet. I don't know who this fucking TikTok. You, you all know how I feel about TikTok. Them niggas are weird, bro. But <laughs> like fucking Mihawk, nah, G. Them. I gotta forgive him because he a TikTok nigga, bro. He, he, you know them niggas lost. You, you know them niggas don't know the world yet. You feel me? We got, they, you know they, they, they haven't embraced their masculinity yet. You know we gotta, you, you gotta wait till they grow a little bit. You gotta wait till they sprout. You feel me? They, there's, they need to explore more of life yet. They haven't explored more. They need to explore more of life first. Uh, let's One continue. Piece characters here we have Law, Doflamingo, Doflamingo Mihawk, Mihawk Shanks, Shanks, Big Mom, Big Kaido, and Whitebeard. Now, yeah. a lot of the Naruto fans out there said that Naruto can clear. Here's the thing when it comes to. Yikes. Yikes. First of all. All right, let, let's see what he's doing. Naruto goes. against the One Piece verse. Is Naruto stronger than everybody in the One Piece verse 1v1? For the most no. part, yes. But here's the key. No, no, bro. No, bro. Let me, let, let me, let, let, nah, nah. Let me champion. My, hold on. Let me, let me say this. Bro, can we really say, our, uh, say that Naruto has, uh, like, if we put his physical strength alone, let, not let the superpower bullshit. I'm a, I'm gonna get to that, but with his super his his physical strength alone, it's about mid like a mid character level or like like we're comparing it to like One Piece characters. I would say his physical strength would be you know kind of normal and and you know the One Piece grand scheme of things. I already put some you know on average physical strength wise. Now in the last chapter. Of not of Naruto, I don't know which version of uh, uh which version of Naruto. I'm gonna say he's gonna use his. You know what? So because what I was about to say is that he needs Karama to like really admit his physical strength. Like yeah, it says on in the last chapter when Karama was about to go away that like his physical like you will Karama says something like you will lose your superhuman strength or something. I'll pin it. I'll pin the image of in this video later when I'm when I'm editing it and shit. But like his his physical strength really his superhuman strength determines like uh, like Karama determined his his superhuman strength. I don't know, I know I don't know my words, but like oh, let, let's get you what he says. Sis. So like if we can if we add in that and then his superpowers. Like it's like what can he really do to you know like a logia or like uh you you feel me like he not even getting past that like I, I don't know let's continue have access to devil fruit powers and I think that when we're talking about devil fruit powers there are there some are devil fruit powers out there that would be able to give Naruto a run for his money and if we've if seen we've in the Naruto more than that Naruto being out hacked in his own verse we've seen this happen time and time again I believe it's insane to assume that this cannot happen in another verse when we're looking at some of the strongest characters on this chart Whitebeard having the Gurger no me having Supreme Hockey and this does look like this is prime white beard. I ain't gonna lie. I haven't seen enough. Like, I think we've seen enough of white beard, but like, uh, he, he's a little slow. You know, he was getting shot up and, you know, I gotta be fair. You feel me? And from what I see, you know, he's kind of a land creature. You, you feel me? Like, he's kind of in the land, you know, he's not really out there. You know, he, I think he's fast, but like. Ah, uh, like Naruto has so much abilities that to the point where I don't know. I still think White Bear will rock his shit a little bit. That I can definitely agree on. But like, I'll definitely say Naruto is a little more faster. Now, if it's Prime White Bear, that's a different story. So let's continue. And you also have Shanks. You have Mihawk there. And not to mention, this nigga can destroy the world.
from Sengoku himself. Continue. These characters are hockey extraordinaire, but I do not believe hockey would be enough to take down Naruto. I do think it would be able to help keep up with his speed because you'll have access to future sight observation hockey. I do think that Conqueror's infusion will be able to go through the Kurama Chakra Cloak, but we're looking at a six pass Naruto here. I do think that that's going to be problematic for these characters, obviously, if he's able to throw true secret orbs and everything like that. But like I said, like I said, bro, Naruto never once in this series really use you know truth seeker orbs like that and even if he did like i think any character on this list is fast enough to avoid this shit i mean like bro we got niggas dodging like fucking light light beams and all laser beams all that it's not hard to you know like just get out of the way so i don't know like even if we put law in, in this right uh, like law in this like he can like he can like manipulate elements and all that shit. So honest, um, but I I don't know. Excuse me. Earlier, earlier, there are devils in, in the One Piece verse that would give Naruto run for his money. Let's look Let's at look law. law. His law is stronger than Naruto. Absolutely not. But would Naruto possibly struggle with law's devil fruit? I don't have a problem with saying that. I mean, when you this is a good one. Now I don't think law is law is stronger than Naruto. But <laughs> we can't compare hockey to chakra. That would be like saying spiritual pressure is the same as Kai or like or some shit like that, bro. Like if he were to get him in his room and just like one and and just slice him and just slice him and shit, like what would happen, bro? This is, this is no. This is a good conversation. What can you really do? <laughs> He rolled the guy at that point. All he had to do was like replace his head with a fucking like rock or some shit. He's done. He's finished. Like like what 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 is Naruto gonna really do to Law, bro? What what is he gonna do? Well, right, let's see what he says. You thinking about Law's devil fruit? The moment that Naruto enters the room ability, he's at Law's mercy for the most part. Now you can say maybe Naruto can use a substitution jutsu. Maybe the shadow clones will be able to overpower him. Ah uh, ah. Uh. What what I think of what would happen if like if this was if this scenario was like animated, yeah, he would probably like that the the people behind it would probably make Naruto, you know, have hella shadow clones and shit. Like Law would like, you know, swipe his sword thinking that was Naruto, but it was a shadow clone. And then you have this nigga like Naruto in like underground the whole time and, and get I like swipe like Law's legs and shit, and you know do what he gotta do type shit. That that then I'll probably say yeah, like I I don't think like Law would beat him, but in a team that's a different story. But then again, Law can also switch out body parts. He can levitate. Can levitate North. North. That's true. That's true. See, I didn't think about that. Like he can do a lot of shit in his room so he ability. Has full control over the room. We saw how Law was able to turn the tide against Big Mom with his Devil Fruit Awakening. He made Big Mom look so bad, and Big Mom is a Yonko level character in One Piece. She yeah. didn't even hear herself talk within the room. There was no sound in the room ability. There was nothing. He had to force Big Mom to heal. Now, the now, only the way I can way really I can see Naruto, Naruto taking, taking down Naruto Law is if Naruto, Naruto speed blitzes Law. Would he? be able, able to do that to do maybe, maybe possibly so because, because law, does law does not does have not great hockey great and I do and think I do that in order to stop Naruto from speed blitzing you, you would need, you would access, need access to future sight observation hockey. hockey. Law, for as far as we know, does not have access to future sight observation hockey. So I do think that Naruto, if he's able to speed blitz Law, he will be able to take him down. If we look back at the gauntlet, there's a But we gotta think about this man's law, like his durability. This man and the dress Rosar not only got his arm cut off by this nigga Doflamingo right here. But got shot like five, nine times. Got was stabbed, kicked in like a vital area in his body, bro. This man should have realistically been dead there. But because of his abilities and because of like, you know, you know, that classic one piece durability of the characters that it's known for. That man still standing. So he's got to I feel like Naruto would need more than just to speed bliss. Like what do what do people mean by when just speed blisting? Just like. 
oh, like as soon as uh, as soon as I caught this nigga lacking, I'm just gonna punch it. <laughs> I'm just gonna punch him, and, and then that's it. Nah, I feel like you're gonna need a little bit more, you know, to take down, you know, the average One Piece character, especially like I would say Law is kind of on his way to becoming a high tier, but even like mid tier characters on One Piece, you, you feel me? You're gonna need more than just speed bliss. So you know, I see what he's saying. There's only one more character here that I think would give Naruto a run for his money, and that has happens to be Big Mom. Is Big Mom stronger than Naruto? No. But does her devil fruit change the tide? Possibly. We know that Big Mom has access to the soul soul fruit and I do believe that that would be very very problematic for Naruto's shadow clone. And we know that no I don't know fam, I don't know. Big Mom is not Kaguya. We gotta remember this. You gotta remember this. Her, her skin alone is 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 giving naruto trouble like you got like there's nothing really that's gonna penetrate her skin now he does have you know the whole you know chakra blaze the B, the biju beast bomb which i think is his strongest move uh the you know the race and shuriken i definitely feel that we gotta remember that one fight with her and law and kid they were doing some crazy damage in her. Like I ain't gonna lie, they 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 kept on like <laughs> like hitting her with fucking rocks and stuff. You know, like with sharp objects. You know, like hella shit. So I I, I don't know, but like I feel like you're gonna need a few more. You know, shurikens and shit to <laughs> really take her take her ass down, but. Overall, I feel like Naruto will come on top, but he would be super tired. Like, he wouldn't be able to solo anybody else after that. I'm telling you right now. After Big Mom, he's finished. Like, he's not he's not doing no no work to anybody else. But let's continue. On. Naruto needs his shadow clones in order to open up a lot of his techniques. A lot of Naruto's techniques are shadow clone based. And I believe that if Big Mom is able to disrupt Naruto's shadow clones, if she's able to disrupt Naruto's connection with Kurama, because we know that she has access to the soul soul food, I think that may put Naruto in a very compromising position. Now, I know my One Piece fans out there may be saying, I am a lot. I don't think Naruto is really KOing, like, you know, uh, like, you know, r really beating Big Mom like that. I feel like it would just, he will probably, you know, um, demobilize, immobilize her, probably put her somewhere where she can't fight or something, like in the, like kick her under, in the, under a bridge or some shit like that, or water in it. But I don't really see, like, I don't think Naruto really has the strength, you know, knock the bitch out, but like. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Let me see. Whitebeard and Kaido and Shanks. I believe that they are more durable. I believe that they are physically stronger than Naruto. But they are not going to be able to compete with Naruto because Naruto has access to so much chakra. I think if you're talking about the first Hokage, the second Hokage, and things like that, I believe Whitebeard and Kaido would be able to contend with. I mean, bro, we gotta remember, in majority of Naruto's fights. And I'm saying, like, in the strongest, the toughest, the toughest dudes out there in Naruto, he, he, even in Boruto, he needed some type of assistance, bro. Like, after, you know, pain and all that, every single, like, character, like, uh, every single big stepper <laughs> in Naruto, he needed some type of assistance with. Naruto would have never got that W with Kaguya if it wasn't for Obito. Sasuke, Kakashi, and that tra- or oh, or oh, um, um, Sakura, but, <laughs> I guess, but, like, um, like, either or, he wouldn't have really got that W, he was playing more so as an assist character, was he, was he putting up the most damage, and eh, kinda, but then we gotta think of Sasuke, he was putting up as much damage as Naruto, so it's like, we, he, he was really, like, we can't really sit here and say, oh, what, but would they be able to do this or be able to do that? Cause he, I don't even think Naruto like fought any guys. You know, like, I don't know. It's it's too. It's it's really hard. You know, when we're talking about you know One Piece versus Naruto, cause it's two completely different like like fighting styles and power scales and shit. I never seen Naruto fight a character like Big Mom or fucking law or, or or fucking even even doflamingo bro like 
So it's kind of hard, but like overall, from what I've seen, you know, the physical strength, durability, and everything I see in One Piece, I think Naruto kind of he, he he's stopping at Big Mom. I ain't gonna lie, he he's stopping at Big Mom. I I, I ain't gonna lie, my boy can fly. He can go. He can go. He has you know kind of the Sasano thing, like the great. I forgot what it was called. It's been a while since I watched Naruto. The he can he can he can do the the, the Susano shit like like Sasuke, but I don't know. I still feel like I I still feel like like Kaido and all of them is whole. I'm I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Those characters, but Naruto and Sasuke, they're on a they're different on level. Different. Now, when we're looking now, at the One Piece verse, mm. there's also a lot of top tier low gear users, like the admirals and everything. Would Naruto yeah. be able to take them down? Possibly, but he would have to seal them. He is more powerful than them, but he wouldn't be able to really land physical hits, so he would need to seal them. If he seals them, he can get the job done. Now, you guys may be asking, well, Rob, how do you feel about Luffy? What about Gear 5? Mm. And I'll tell you, hey, I, I, I saw what I'm, I'm been waiting for, bro. I said on my last video, it's not real shit like Naruto can really do. And that's why it's hard. That's why my brain keeps on like switching back and forth. And should I say this? Should I say that? Because because of gear fifth, that opens the story. Like uh, just not the characters, but like the whole story of One Piece. Like since like Luffy has such this crazy devil fruit now. How is Oda gonna like back it up with all the rest of the characters? How how more powerful are they gonna like make the characters? So I feel like it's still too early for you know a real One Piece versus Naruto debate. But I'm just saying, like my last video, there's not real shit like Naruto can do to Gear Five Luffy. Everything that Naruto can just throw at Luffy can just counter. It is what it is, bro. Like. Like I said, but let me see what you guys say. I can't wait to drop that video. Now you guys let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, you say you're gonna drop the video, but like I said, watch my three minute, my three minute video of of uh, I think it was Gear Five Luffy versus Baron Mode. But yeah, bro, W W video, bro. Uh, yeah, I was trying to get back to the reaction, but 